Okay, welcome back mga lods. So for today, we will be discussing how to solve the roots of quadratic equations na kung saan pwede natin siyang gamitan nung factoring method. Okay? So, ang factoring method, just so you know, hindi ito applicable sa lahat, no? Hindi kasi lahat ng mga quadratic trinomials ay factorable. So, yeah, ito ay very limited to those trinomials na po pwede nating i-factor, no? Okay. So, let's start. Number one x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. So, make sure muna that your um, quadratic equations are written in standard form. Kasi kung hindi sila naka-standard form, hindi mo pa pwedeng gawin kagad to. Make sure na naka-equal yan sa 0 bago kayo mag-factoring. Okay, so for number 1, x squared plus 3x plus 2. Um x squared plus 3x plus 2 is actually factorable. So, ang gawin natin, isulat natin yung, yung nasa kaliwang side into its factored form. No? Nakasulat ng mga factors. So, do you know what are the two factors para maka mag-come up with the product x squared plus 3x plus 2? So, that will be x plus 1 times x plus 2. So, kung hindi ka sure kung tama ba ito, pwede mo namang gamitin ng foil yan, no? At kapag minultiply mo yan dalawang binomials na yan, yes, it, they will become x squared plus 3x plus 2 kapag minultiply, no? Okay. So, you have x plus 1 and x plus 2. Next step, isolve mo yung dalawang factors na yan by equating them to 0. So, si x plus 1 gawin mong equal sa 0, at si x plus 2, gawin mo ding equal sa 0. And then, solve the two linear equations separately. So, dito sa isa, x plus 1 equals 0. So, ang gawin lang natin, syempre, itatranspose natin tong ka, yung plus 1 sa kabila. So, it will become x equals 0 minus 1, kasi nga, plus 1 do, so pag tinranspose mo, minus 1. So, therefore, x equals negative 1. May isa na tayong root, which is negative 1, no? As for the second one, si plus 2, transpose din natin, no? So, that will become x equals 0 minus 2. So, therefore, x is just negative 2. And there you have it. Dalawa na yung roots mo. Nasolve mo na yung number 1 by using the factoring method. Kung gusto mo naman siya isulat in um, solution set form, so, gulagay kang curly brace dyan, ilista mo si negative 1, tapos, ilista mo din si negative 2, and then close your set. That's it. Meron ka ng sagot, no? How about for number 2? Um, you have x squared minus 6x plus 8. So, obviously, itong example na to, it is also factorable. Naka-standard form na naman siya. So, therefore, pwede ka na mag-factor ka agad. So, the factors are, do you know what are the two factors of this? So, the first one would be x minus 2 and the other one is x minus 4. So, bakit sila? Kasi, di ba, kapag phenyl mo din yan, minultiply mo sila, magiging x squared minus 6x plus 8. So, what is the next step? Solve separately your linear equation. So, si x minus 2, i-equate mo sa 0. Si x minus 4, i-equate mo din sa 0. So, si minus 2, transpose, you'll get x equals 0 plus 2. So, x equals positive 2. May isa ka ng root. How about the other one? Transpose ulit natin si minus 4. So, x equals 0 plus 4. So, x equals 4. There you have it. Meron ka ng dalawang roots of the quadratic equation, which are 2 and 4. No? So, in this case, hindi naman necessarily laging magkapareho silang negative or pareho silang positive. Meron din cases, syempre, na uh, magkaiba sila ng sign, no? And there are actually cases wherein 
the two roots are one and the same, no? Mukha lang silang iisa, pero basta yung dalawang roots mo, parehong-pareho. That's why we say that the root is, example one, multiplicity two. No? So, ibang discussion na yun. So, I have here another two examples. x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals zero. So, ano yung unang gagawin? Factor out. Naka-standard form na naman eh. So, what are the factors? Factors are, so, since negative 15 or right, rather minus 15 yung pangatlong term mo, yung constant term, alam mo na kagad na magkaibang sign yung nasa gitna natin, no? So, ano kaya yung kapag minultiply natin negative 15, pero pag inad natin positive 2? Hmm? Can you think of it? Diba? Di, yung isa ay si x plus 5, tsaka si x minus 3. So, multiply mo si 5 times 3, negative 15. Pag inad mo si 5x, tsaka si negative 3x, magiging 2x. So, pwede na natin siyang isolve separately yung mga linear equations, no? So, x plus 5 equals 0, and then x minus 3 equals 0 din. Transpose natin si 5 dito. So, I'll get x equals 0 minus 5. So, x equals negative 5. May isa na akong root. This one, transpose si minus 3, x equals 0 plus 3. So, therefore, you'll get x equals positive 3. So, yep, meron ka na ulit sagot. Yung solution set natin, sulat natin, negative 5 and also 3. Nasolve mo, no? Kasi nga, factorable pa rin siya. And syempre, itong pang-apat, factorable pa rin po yan. So, factor natin. So, what do you think are the two factors? Now, if you notice, dito, kakaiba to do sa 1, 2, and 3 kasi si leading term, meron siyang coefficient na 2, no? So, mag-iisip ka, ano ito? 2x, malamang yung isa 2x, tas yung isa x, at wala na tayong ibang um, possible combination for that. Kasi nga, yun lang naman yung pwede mong ipag-multiply para makagawa ng 2 eh. Wala ka ng ibang pwedeng combination, no? So, ano kaya tong kasunod nito? Since negative yung third term, yung constant term natin, negative 7, you, it's also safe to say na magkaiba ng sign. Yun nga lang, magta-trial and error ka na dito. Kung Kung sumaktong-sumakto yung sagot mo, edi well and good. And in this case, if you thought of positive 1 and negative 7, saktong-sakto, no? Hindi na yung magiging sagot. Kasi if you look at it, 1 times negative 7, iyon ba ay negative 7? Yes, it is. At kapag inad mo si x ba, tsaka si negative 14x, magiging negative 13x? Yes. So therefore, tama yung factors mo. Pwede natin siyang isolve um, separately by making uh, linear equations na naka-equate sa 0 using your factors. So, yan. 2x plus 1 equals 0. x minus 7 equals 0. So, 2x, transpose natin kasi dito si 1. So, this will become 0 minus 1. So, 2x equals negative 1. Para mawala si 2, kailangan i-divide natin both sides. Magka-cancel si 2. So, you will have x equals negative 1 half. Paano naman sa kanan? Transpose ulit natin si negative 7. So, you will get x equals 0 minus 7, ay 0 plus 7 rather, no? 0 plus 7. 7 kasi nga, lumipat na siya ng side. Eh. So, positive na siya dun. So, x equals 0 plus 7, which is 7. And, yeah, meron ka na ulit dalawang roots ng equation mo. So, ano yung solution set? You have negative 1 half and positive 7. So, there you have it. Alam mo na ngayon kung paano ka magsasolve ng quadratic equations mo using factoring method. And make sure muna, syempre, na factorable yung, yung quadratic trinomial mo bago mo siya gawin. Okay? So, I hope may natutunan ka and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye!